Okay. I look like the color of this bottle. That is so sk Spot the difference. My foundation is probably like eight shades darker than that. Like which one am I closer to? Nah. This is not okay. Ugh. Okay, so your hair doesn't have to be fully dry for this. It could just be damp. And I'm gonna split the top half from the bottom half first. And I do four braids because I have a lot of hair, but I think even with a little bit less hair, four braids is still good because then you get good crimp action like throughout the hair and not just if you did two, because if you only do two, then you're not really gonna get any crimp action up here. You know, I graduated high school. Okay, so I'm gonna sleep with my hair like this and I'll show you how to get the rest of it in the morning, but this part saves a lot of time. I don't really ever use this. Like I was so excited <laughs> and I was so excited when I got it. I never feel like putting in that like energy, but I just feel so, like I just feel like my face is huge. I just don't, you know, I don't feel like I'm just in my flow. And it's probably making me think thoughts that are like, not true. Like I don't think my face is actually huge, but my lack of just routine, I guess, when I look in the mirror, I see so we're gonna do a little new face action. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. You're ditching already? Oh yeah, because I just want to watch a little video and I don't want to interrupt your flow. Okay. Thank God for podcasts, honestly. I was listening to a bunch of them today throughout the day and that really just kept me going throughout whatever tasks I was doing, whether if it was like driving 10 minutes in the car, putting away laundry, whatever, like with a podcast rolling, life is good. I am coming out with one, by the way. You'd be surprised how intense these podcast deals can look on the back end. Honestly, I am shook. I got one and I was like, absolutely under any circumstances, will I never sign that piece of paper. So it's a back and forth, but it is happening. And I'm just waiting for the right terms because honestly, thank you, Alex Cooper. I feel like she really uh, educated influencers on podcast agreements and how intense those contracts could be. So I'm gonna play the long game here and just make sure everything is kosher and everything is good before I just like sign my life away for some podcast. But it's coming and it's gonna be good. I'm thinking 30 minute episodes for you know the 30 minute 12 through 30 workout. But then I don't know when I listen to podcasts, I feel like 30 minutes wouldn't be enough. So maybe two a week? We vibe with that? that I, like, that seems good to me. Okay, I've done half my face. Can you see any difference? Okay, yeah, why does this half of my face literally look like this and this half of my face looks like this? That's fun. I guess I'll keep using it. This is a humbling exercise. I've been using two to three hours self tans a lot more now because I'm honestly lazy to sleep in it overnight. They always smell a little funky. They never get on my sheets though. Like, that was an odd thing. But I'm gonna go in with this one. This is the San Advanced One Hour Tan. A oh, one hour tan, okay. I keep it on for like three. Also, I am still engaged in case anyone was wondering. I just realized that when I showered, I took off my ring and I never put it back on. And whatever you're like, oh, what's the tea? She took off her ring. It's over before it even started. Shocker. Now I'm not going to put it back on because I don't want to get self tan on it. Cheers. He's, he's, he's learning. He's yeah. definitely learning. He definitely, you know, picks up on little things here and there. I mean, he has Before we get into the rest of this video, a huge shout out to this video's sponsor. If you are looking for some good cleansers, this Isanox LX New Clean line is formulated with the best ingredients to really do what it has to do while still being gentle and nourishing on the skin. I love a clean formula cleanser, especially one that leaves you feeling hydrated and nourished and like you feel like all your makeup is off. I've also been into double cleansing recently, so I'm gonna wash my face today. So first I'm gonna wash with the Balancing Gel Cleanser. These cleansers are clean formulas and the price points honestly make a lot of sense. Their Balancing Gel Cleanser is made with vitamin B5 to rebalance the skin and coconut to gently remove oil and impurities. So I usually do an oil-based cleanser and then the cream, but today I'm gonna do a gel-based cleanser and then the cream since I did self-tanner last night and I feel like it can clog my pores, so I'm gonna do a double-double moment. And now I'll 
go in with the Nourishing Cream Cleanser. This one feels so good and it's made with vitamin B and extracts of rosemary. And this nourishing formula gently removes impurities and makeup while restoring moisture. And I feel soft and healthy afterwards. And it's hypoallergenic, BT does. These are available on Avon.com and thank you to them for sponsoring this part of the video. I'm not gonna lie to you, I used to be a press on nail hater. Not a hater, but I would low key judge whenever I would see them. Like sometimes I'd be like, oh my God, I love your manicure. And if somebody goes, thank you, they're press on, I'd be like, okay. Like why, you know, like why do you want to press them on? Aren't they gonna fall off? And I think the last time that I had tried them had been so long ago that maybe the technology has evolved. I don't know. I remember putting on press on nails back in the day and then literally running my fingers through my hair and that making the nails fall off. But these days, I'm kind of into them. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to talk to anyone. You don't have to sit anywhere and you could do it all the time. And my favorite part, honestly, is like when an acrylic falls off, realistically, if you're busy, if you're out, if you're doing things, you're gonna end up having nine acrylics and just rocking it till they're grown out. Like I personally don't ever go into the salon to fix like one or two because they're already like grown out. So I, I don't know, what's the point? I literally ever since starting press on nails will just carry the whole thing in my bag or in my backpack or whatever. And when one falls off, I will glue it right back on the spot. And I'm like, I love that freedom, you know? No salons, no nothing. Everybody keeps telling me on TikTok to buy in a, a prez. Gel kit? A prey, I'm not saying that right. It's probably like, you know, when you ski, like a prey ski. Oh, a prey. Okay, everybody keeps telling me to get an Apray gel kit. This one specifically, I'll pop it up and I'll link everything in this video. And this one looks kind of dope. So maybe I'll get that and do my own little light setup and like have that be my vibe because that could genuinely be good. So not skincare, that's cute. I guess, right? Brad Pitt coming out with cashmere line or something. But people are like, oh my God, and it's rumored they're dating. And I'm like, do you guys literally have issues anything? Okay, so what do we think? Not half bad, you know, it was quick. I feel like I'm gonna end up going back to a salon and getting back like actual nails, but the lazy life is kind of getting. I need to put my ring back on. Okay, period. That's more like it. <laughs> Am I annoying? Like, do I flex this too much? Because I swear, I used to get so annoyed by future brides. OD be talking about it, and I just, I, I'm, I don't want that to be me. So just let me know if I ever get too intense. Just be like, girl, reel it back. Anyways. It's keeping up with the Kardashians tonight. I'm so excited. This is what I needed on this fantastic, fabulous Wednesday. I need a little keeping up. And Henny has agreed to watch it with me. What's the plan? We're going to watch Keeping Up with the Kardashian. Uh, make fun of Kendall Jenner. No one likes the girl. No, don't say that. She invited me to 818. I want to keep going. I don't going. care. No one likes that girl. I like her. I love her. You're never getting an opinion on this channel again. <laughs> that Arizona Postmate game is weak. That's the one thing. I just got back from New York City, okay? New York City Postmate is like, you want sushi at 3 a.m.? Perfect. Get some great A sushi. You want pizza at 4 a.m.? Great. There's going to be anything on Postmate here. No, 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 no. Which, like, I don't Postmate anymore because I feel like Postmate is not for grown-up adults. I feel like Postmate was for a time in my life where I was 19 and 20 and like did not know how to feed myself. So I would just Postmate every meal, but I'm past that. It's just, I have nothing in my fridge right now from the, from not being home for so many days. And that's one thing about living here that sucks. But we called a restaurant. We're gonna go drive and pick up some Mexican food. I had this place in Idaho when I was there. It's called Salt and Lime. Is that like a thing? Is that a chain? Is there any salt and limers out there? The steak tacos there, pretty dank. Dinkery Tonga. So we're gonna get the tacos and watch the Kardashians. Ew, why am I getting like the most of my new updates? Like, oh my God, I have to tell you our next endeavor. <laughs> Wait, I'm really excited about it. Okay, so Henny and I have been building and getting super into overland camping setups. We have to order it. We've just been like putting together the theory of what it's gonna be like, but these are overland campers and how fun would it be for these vlogs? And honestly, just like for me and for us, how fun would it be if we put this on top of the truck and just started camping around Arizona? Like, I'm so here for that. It would be such a good, like, decompression moment. Like, work all week, weekend, camping, no phone, just the forest and Lua. And, like, what is it? Making coffee out of, like, tin materials. <laughs> Ew. But, like, it'll be great. 
I don't know if you're gonna like it. I'm really worried about putting all this money into getting like the rooftop tent and all this equipment. I feel like I'm just gonna end up going by myself because I think we're gonna go once and you're gonna be like, oh, never again. I think I'm gonna like it. Perfect. Yes. Good morning. Update, maybe don't sleep with them wet or as wet as I did because I just made myself sick. <laughs> I like went to bed with like wet hair and the AC's blasting all night and I woke up sick. So that's wonderful. Morning walk. Let's get it. I didn't vlog a single thing today like I was honestly planning on it. And then I ended up being locked in the room like laying in bed the whole entire day because I've never felt so bad. Like my head felt like there was a concert inside of it. I did absolutely nothing today. And at first I was pissed off about it, so I was like, oh man, I'm not gonna be productive. Boo-hoo, but I mean, once I was on my third hour of feeling like that, I was just laying there in self-pity like, fuck this. Hopefully I'll be better tomorrow. If I really did give myself that illness from sleeping with wet hair, then all of the abuelas were right. That's such a Latin thing, like, oh, don't fall asleep with wet hair, you're gonna get sick. I straight up thought that was an old wives' tale, or like some grandma but it, they're right. Anyways, dinner time. Yeah. This is a pretty lazy step in the process. Like microwave rice to hit, hit it on the hibachi, but. I don't want to do it. Oh! No, I'm not doing it. Uh, am I going to do it? Am I going to do it? I dare you. Oh! Pepper. Oh, Huge slide. Breaking Bad. It's like the only show we could think of that's semi-watchable these days. Does anybody know a good show? Like, this is how desperate we are. Breaking Bad. And we're deep. We're on like season four or five or something. So it turns out our abuelas were right because I literally gave myself strep throat from sleeping with my hair wet. But I'm good now. Um, yeah. For a couple of days there, I was so negative in my headspace. Mentally, physically, I kept beating myself up because I'm like... I'm not productive, I'm not getting anything done. And sometimes it's okay to just feel like shit and be sick. Because in the moment I felt like such a piece of SHIT because I'm like, I'm not getting anything done. And I really had to check myself and be like, yo, it is okay to take a couple sick days and understand that this is all temporary and this is gonna be fine. This is not even that deep. And like, what? I feel so bad for beating myself up. Cause I'm watching this footage back and I'm like, okay, you are hard on yourself. But anyways, healthy as a clam, and um, thanks for hanging out. I don't sleep with wet hair, and I owe you the rest of that hair tutorial. But long story short, so you don't have to wait till the next video, because that would be cruel. You sleep with four wet braids. Um, not damp, I guess, unless you want to get literal strep throat. And then you crimp in the morning with this Amazon hair tool. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Please subscribe. Love you.